going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. We have a very special one for you here today. We're gonna be cutting and installing roof rafters and sheathing this whole roof. It's a pretty complicated subject, but we're gonna make it simple for you. So make sure you hit subscribe. Stay tuned. It's important to have a clean job site. It's doing my part around here. Some parts of this business really stink. All right, so I'm starting off here by uh, cutting Jose some blocking. We're gonna put some flat blocking on the inside of our walls where there's that seam in the sheathing. Ant is also prepping for our roof. We're gonna be setting our ridge. We'll show you how we do that. We'll be cutting rafters and we'll show you how we figure all of this stuff out so that it goes together seamlessly and hopefully, we might have this thing sheathed up by the end of the day. We'll see. If you ever wanna uh, seem more manly on a job site, just make loud noises like that. <laughs> Louder the better. All right, uh, we got a lot of these to put up, so uh, gotta wanna put the camera down and uh, Get to work. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand down here and cut for you guys. How about that? Can you take a hair off of this one? Um, yeah. Where is it? Is there just hair on it? <laughs> <laughs> What is it? Eight light. Please. You got it. Thank you. What's up, Catherine? Not much. What are you doing? I'm going to try to teach you how to lay out rafters in this wonderful addition we're about to build. Ooh, I can't wait to learn. So this is how I do it. Other people do it different ways. There's multiple ways of going about it, but this is how I do it, and I'll give you the steps. First things first, I had to take get my overall measurement. 238 inches and one half. With that number, I'm going to subtract the thickness of our ridge. And the thickness of our ridge is inch and three quarters. That comes out to 236 and three quarters. Now I call that my adjusted overall. Now with that number, you have to divide it in half. That comes out to 118 and three eighths. And that is my run. Now when you're laying out a rafter, you have three measurements. You have your run, your rise, and your diagonal. With a calculator, you only need to get two of those. So right now, I have my run, and our plans call it for a six pitch. Every 12 inches you level across, the rafter will rise six inches. Since I have my pitch and I have my run, I'm able to find out my diagonal measurement. So my diagonal, I don't know if you're gonna see this, comes to 132 and 3 eighths. Okay, now once you have this little cheat sheet, so I have my overall, I subtracted my ridge. That gave me my adjusted overall. I divided that by two. There's my run. In the calculator, I was able to get my diagonal. I have a 612 pitch, and my ridge height is nine and five eighths. I'll show you why that's so important next. Slide it to you a little bit, Tom. Right. Now, Jose, put your end over, over together. 
I was like, get Jose's on. And then Jose can just like hold it. Yeah. And then you should be able to like push it against that two five four. I got it. Yep. Now you're tight against the house. Yeah, tight. Throw one screw into that two by four. Good. How'd that go, Anthony? Went really smooth. Well, it's in the air. <laughs> All right, so now it's time to lay out the rafter. What I like to use, I like to use a framing square, uh, mainly because it's able to give you a good flat 90 degree when you need it. And the first thing you have to do is you have to set your pitch. You have six inches. On this back side, you have 12 inches. I always start with my rafter cut. Once that's cut, you're able to hook your tape measure to that long point. Then you measure your diagonal. Then you measure your diagonal. Then you measure your diagonal. Which I have 132 and 3 eighths. So then you put this mark on here. So with that plum cut and this mark, this is the outside of our wall. Now what we need to do next is we have to create that bird's mouth cut. We're using a two by six wall here. So what I do, I know this is set at 12. 12 minus five and a half, it's gonna be at six and a half. So I'll line that up with that plum cut, trace that. So that is our bird's mouth cut that's gonna sit against our wall and on top of our plate. Now we have to figure out our soffit overhang normal 12 inch overhang. So I'll line up with any number. Right now I'm on 20 and just count 12. And make that mark. But we have to subtract an inch and a half because that's our fascia detail. So that'll be our fascia two by six that's running along. And then a lot of guys like to do a kind of a flat cut. I'll go five and a quarter. And that's our raft. And that's your rafter. Now it's you cut it, you check it, and then you cut it a lot. I think on this project we have 40 of them to cut. Stay tuned. Thanks, Tony. Alright, we got rafters going up. I'm the cut man. I'm at the cut station. They've already been waiting on me, so I gotta I gotta I gotta get back to work. <laughs> Are you filming? Yeah. All right, watch out. It's like a, it's a rafter boneyard over here. Uh, you can see we've got our pattern here. What I did was just uh, nail a scrap on top so that I can pull it tight, make sure that they're all nice and consistent. 
They're not waiting on me again already, are they? Yeah, they are. They're so fast. Oh, God. Catherine! Check it out, we got a pool. It's not done yet. It's just a hole. But it's a nice looking hole. And what else we got? We got we got rafters up. We got like basically a whole house here. We got them all cut, handed them up to them. They're getting them installed. They're doing the last two right now on the front. And then uh I guess next step we can cut in our fly rafters because we're gonna have a show rafter on the front here. That's a, what do you call it? A fly rafter, oh, show you, rafter? No, you not you can notch them now. Oh, okay. Alright, so we're doing we're cutting in our show rafters right now. And if you see on you know a nice little house detail, you've got that rafter that extends past the roof line and it looks like it's just suspended there. Well um it's not really suspended there because that wouldn't work. So I'm gonna show you how we did it. Measured this, we got about 12 feet here. Our fascia detail is gonna run long, so we don't need to be notched there. But then I just marked it every three feet. So I've got here, mark three and a half. So I'm just marking it like this. Do them every three feet. And then I'm gonna notch it out so that a two by four is gonna sit right in there, extend out past our last rafter, and that's what we'll attach that fly rafter to. Now we're gonna cut this out. We're gonna cut it out with a zippy tool. We're gonna cut it out with a jigsaw. No, we're not gonna do it like circular saw. We're gonna have two by four sit in there, so that's the depth that I wanna set it to. Nice. If you've got one of these tools, you know how useful it is? And you also know how expensive these blades are. We found that we get these off Amazon. They're super cheap. We get like 50 of them for 30 or 40 dollars, and they work just as good as the ones that are like 10 dollars a piece at the store. So, links in the description for those if you want to check them out. got it sheathed we got a pool hole here we're ready to almost start swimming so next video we're gonna show you some even cooler details on this structure so make sure you hit subscribe stay tuned and until next time this is premier outdoor living <laughs>